You've been hating on this guy for long, but he's still relevant. He's still doing stuff. And as if all the things you're saying isn't good enough, the guy is still succeeding. Why don't you just see that and use that same energy to also foster your life forward? What's up, what's up guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy modin and i'm back again with another entertainment news update right here for you today i'm not gonna waste your time i'm just gonna talk about the ongoing issue uh with regards to shutter Wallace's song with beyonce and the official video which features in the visuals that is going to be released uh, on the 31st of this month um black skin now a lot of news is going around especially from biscout nana Prempet. now Biscal Nana Prempe is one guy I respect a lot. Now he's one guy who is also forthcoming and speaks out his mind and I like people who like to speak up their mind, especially when things are going wrong. Now uh, Biscal Nana Prempe made a video and also making some posts here and there, uh, also with a full video from the Mad King uh, who used to also, he started out with Biscal Nana Prempe and along the line he, he just didn't do anything anymore, I don't know why. now. This video is not to disrespect anyone, but this video is meant to educate you to understand a few things about the way things are done in the world of entertainment. Now, um, first of all, when Sh the news broke that Shatawale had a song last year with Beyonce, a lot of people were doubting that Shatawale could actually chalk such a feat. Now, later on, when the whole thing panned out for us to know that it was actually true, a lot of people were still saying a lot of trash that a song is bad and a whole lot of things now after the song was released a year on a lot of things happened because a lot of people were looking forward to Shatawale being in a music video by Beyonce now if you're someone who followed Beyonce ardently you would know that she's not the type of person who puts out projects and let a project just lie down bare for a year and it's gone she would like to put much time into it to span the marketing of the whole music video and the stuff like that. Now, the whole point of the video I'm trying to make today is the fact that after some footage that uh, was leaked from the whole Black is King visuals that is about to hit uh, Disney Plus and Mnet as of 31st and 1st respectively uh, leaked online that featured Shatawale and Beyonce in already music video now. A lot of people are out there congratulating Shatawale, of course, for the success shot because people thought that the video was never coming. And some some uh, Metro TV TV panelist also just said, or TV casters or newscaster or whatever it is, entertainment panelist also made an, a, a, a video talking about the fact that Beyonce is disrespecting all the African artists they put out there on the bill. Now, talking about Biscard and Prempe and what he is doing together with Martin and circulating around social media and what other people are doing is that this time it's all about saying that the Beyonce that was featured in the video with Shutter Wale uh, is a fake one. Now, they are saying this based on screenshots they've made out of this leaked video, you know. Um, the aspect I want to come from is this. Now, are there celebrity lookalikes in the world? Yes, there are. Everywhere. Even in Ghana, when Sarkodie was hitting his heights, we saw celebrity lookalikes come out there. We saw a guy who looked just like Sarkozy come out there. Now, there is also other guys who look like Shatawale who has come out already to show their faces and all that. In this world, we have someone who looks like you right now. Beyonce trying to show respect to Africa and also trying to cement her way through, trying to find her lineage, where she comes from, where she hails, you know. Last year was a big year for Ghana. Beyonce's mother was also in Ghana as part of the celebrations that was going on last year with the return, uh, with the whole slavery thing that was going on, on there. Now, what I find baffling is the fact that we don't want to accept success of our fellow brother as Africans. I wish I could be speaking this in, in a language that a lot of black people will identify with in a local one. That is where our problem even starts from. You get it? Your brother, your fellow brother has achieved success. 
just try to acknowledge it in a good way because the opportunity that comes with this whole thing comes for all of us you know especially in the entertainment scene beyonce is not a god or a goddess whatsoever but in her role as what she does in the world entertainment wise she is one of the best at what she does and if you are anybody in this world who is aspiring to be something good you always look for someone who is better in your chosen field so now if you're a pastor you're looking forward to being like someone like td jakes for example now if you want to be a politician you're looking forward to astute politicians who have done well now if you're in music you're also looking forward to pop icons you're looking forward to people who do music and understand have given gained some world recognition and all there now i don't think beyonce in her own mind will come out to try to disrespect the people of africa and put out a fake person out there to represent her and her brand now I'll be putting up a few pictures for you to see and then make the analysis yourself. Now, some of the things that even flaws the argument people are having out there that it's a Beyonce look-alike and all that kind of stuff. You guys forget that two years ago, you didn't look like the way you look like now. Biscard Nana Prempe and the Mad King, go take pictures backwards, uh, two, three years, four years back down the line of yourselves and see if you look the same. Say If you want to say that someone is a look-alike and the fact that Beyonce is slim and the one that is presented in the video is thicker and for that matter she has cheeks coming out. Oh my goodness, that's a lame ass excuse to make man for this type of comparison. Even in Hollywood, shooting movies and all that, don't forget this whole thing is a visual. It's a whole movie. The whole sound, the gift album is a whole movie on its own. You get it? If you, if you bought the whole album to listen to it, you would understand everything that is going on there. And so shooting a movie, we understand even for Hollywood, uh, an artist or an actor will go into a mode where they try to bulk up, they try to become bigger, they try to become slimmer based on the character they are going to portray. Now, you and I don't know the, how do you call it, the scripting behind this whole black skin uh, visuals that is coming out with Disney, uh, Disney Plus, you know. We don't know it. And so whatever scripting is in there, you don't know if Beyonce was meant to be a certain way to tell a certain story. No one knows this. And then you just see a leaked video, a leaked video. I mean, take screenshots of it and start saying that she is not the one in there and you are an expert of face recognition and what that. And you can say anything you can say about that just to prove someone's success wrong. Then, my brothers, you are losing it. How, how jealous can you be of someone's success? I mean, how hateful can you be of someone's success? Can't you just write, just, for, just, just write congratulations and just shut up or just not write anything at all? I mean, the fact that you support one artist and you don't like the other doesn't mean that if someone chucks success, that even comes for the whole country, you will still be talking like this out of hate. Sarkozy came out some time back, I think this year, with an interview with Denta saying that he actually benefited from this collabo from Beyonce and Shatterwale. You know, now this is just Sarkozy coming out. Now, other artists who may have benefited something from this whole thing are not even talking about it. It has given a rise to Afrobeats in the world. A lot of people are turning their ears more to Afrobeats. The same artist you'll be happy to promote is the same artist who is benefiting from this whole thing. So, for us to get more wins, you know, as, as, as a collective nation, as Ghanaians, we need to praise, we need to like promote the ones who are doing good for our industry. It doesn't mean that if some boy chucks a success and you're a Shatawale fan, you go hating. If Shatawale chucks success and you're a Stone boy fan, you go hating. Some of the things we do, we should just stop it. This, this doesn't make sense. There are lookalikes. But the video you saw isn't even what is actually out that you say you paid to watch it. It's a, it's a, it's a leaked one. Now... It may be the same one that we are going to see, but you don't know Beyonce that well. You've not been to any concert where you've seen Beyonce perform one-on-one. -on -one. If you have, let us see a picture of yourself and Beyonce or in a video, something that tells us that you know Beyonce and the fact that uh, ever since Beyonce started music, for whatever years now, she has never changed. Let us know that. You know, <sighs> Sometimes I don't even know what to think and what to say about some of the things that people think, you know um, Our entertainment industry is still growing and we are learning but 
some of these things we need to stop it you know we need to just stop it it, it won't help the game it's not helping anybody out there and uh, we need to learn to appreciate if you have got nothing to say just shush and let it be but if you think what a guy has done he has done tremendously well let us push it I mean, this is a big collaboration in the space of music. We know this for sure. I'm sure when you go to your room alone, you know it. And I know when you're talking to your friends out there, you brag about it. That who I'm from Ghana, the Shatawale who did a song with Beyonce and blah, blah, blah. You would brag about it. Let's stop this thing. This needful, sorry, needless hatred and all that kind of stuff. It won't help us. Let us stop it. Yeah, this is my two cents on all this fake identity thing that is going on. Wait, let a video come on the 31st, watch the video and see where it's gonna cut about Shatawale's career too. You've been hating on this guy for long, but he's still relevant, he's still doing stuff. And as if all the things you're saying isn't good enough, the guy is still succeeding. Why don't you just see that and use that same energy to also foster your life forward? Charlie, over here on Modin, it's all about positivity. Like I always say, keep it locked 100% right here on this channel. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to this channel. And if someone comes to you with a negative vibe, turn around with a smile and say,